Hello guys, welcome to another video from my car, this time on Friday this year, starting from this week, there will be five videos on this channel per week, and Friday will be dedicated to a video from my car. Today I want to talk about the topic which is important to me personally, which is learning new things, because this week I've started, I've published the YouTube channel about Python and machine learning daily, so I've learned quite a lot over the last six months, and I want to share my philosophy of learning new things, new topics and development, which is a bit different than usual theory how you would learn new programming languages in a school or in a course. So typical roadmap for any programming language or framework is theory, documentation, main syntax and then practice, practical projects. The way I did it multiple times over my career and I continue doing that with Python is practice first. It's a bit controversial and maybe even risky, but hear me out. Your first goal, first milestone with any new framework or programming language is to create something that works. So I start with a practical project based not on the documentation. For example, I wanted to learn Langchain and chatbots, and I didn't start with Langchain documentation. Well, I did to understand the overview, what the tool is about, but next I started googling practical examples of Langchain and chatbots. Then I saved around 20 examples, 20 different examples in my bookmarks, and then started rereading them one by one, trying to find the similarities, find the reasons why certain things are done certain ways, and then chose the first tutorial from those to replicate and to create that chatbot practically. And then I started going through that tutorial step by step and then reading the documentation of certain features of certain functions that were used. So for example, the article said to use OpenAI embeddings. I was like, okay, what is embedding? Then I have a specific question of what is embedding? What are alternatives to OpenAI embeddings? And then I dive deeper into that subtopic. And then I go back to the documentation for Langchain or deeper. And if you don't know any of those terms that I've been talking about, don't worry. This is not the point. The point is that in my opinion, to learn a new framework or new language, you have to kind of go in circles dozens of time through the same set of information. But from practical point of view, if you just read the docs, the docs are usually pretty boring. Docs are usually the list of syntax cases, but docs often don't contain full projects. And full projects is your goal after all, right? So my circle of kind of learning is different. Start with practice and then jump from theory to practice, from another theory to another practical example until you have something working. And at that point, you don't understand it clearly, because a lot of the code is just copy-pasted, right? Which is wrong. But here comes the next step, customization. Then what I'm doing, I'm rereading the same articles again, probably googling some more because now I have more information and understand at least a few things. So I know what to Google for, what are the problems that I encounter and stuff like that. And then I start to implement some other features from other tutorials, experiment with what feature to use, what are the parameters, what are the options for, I don't know, vector databases or the same embeddings or LLM models or what is the difference between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 and other questions. And then the whole process kind of becomes the spiral. You get another new layer of knowledge, you understand a bit more and a bit more with every customization with every practical project. And I will publish the thing that I've been working on, chatbots in upcoming weeks on another YouTube channel, Python Machine Learning Daily. So subscribe to that. I will link that in the description below again. But generally, what do you think about this philosophy? Start with practical projects with 20 tutorials or it may be courses and then circling back and forth to the documentation and tutorials and back and forth until you have something workable. And then you move on a spiral to more and more complex projects. Let's discuss what you think in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.